It was my great-great-grandmother's. Grandmama saved it for me to wear on my wedding day. I like my touch. Uh, you are quite dashing. <laughs> Dimitri arranged it, everything from my cummerbund right down to the cufflinks. You know, I wish I could say that it belonged to some illustrious ancestor, but uh, the truth is it's descended from Lacey's on the mall. <laughs> it's perfect. It's your wedding day. <clears throat> Street clothes of the town hall, we're just not going to cut it. So how do you guys like your wedding chapel? Wow. Looks familiar, doesn't it? We've walked down this aisle once before. Yes, we have, but this time we're going to get it right. This time, our vows will be final and forever. Dimitri, it, uh, it means a lot to have the wedding here. Thank you. <sighs> Dimitri, I can't believe... I can't believe you did this just for us. Well, I didn't. No, I didn't. You see, actually, you, you two were planning on having a plain rap wedding at the town hall with no guests. But those who loved you, they wanted to see you get married in style. Well, we didn't want to make a big fuss. Oh, please, come on. It's the biggest day of your lives. Jillian, you and Ryan, you two honestly deserve the best of everything. And after all, you're an Andrashi. And you should be married in the style befitting an Andrashi. Oh, Edmund, I can't believe you did this for us. Are you happy? Yes, we are. How did you do it? I don't know. How did you have time to plan all of it? Uh, we're just sneaky, that's all. Yeah, we had the elves. We're working all night long. Are they really elves, Daddy? Oh, yeah. Look. That's pixie dust. It is? Is there a difference? Oh, he's hopeless. Come on, we'll explain this to you. Oh, look how grown up you two are. Were you guys behind this whole surprise wedding business? Was that you? Were you? Yeah, I think so. You know, talking of surprises, some wonderful people have flown all the way over from Budapest just to share this day with you. to be late. Late who? Who's late? Leo. Leo? Is Leo your date? Well, he's Ryan's best man, and so far he's a no-show. Your Honor, I am guilty of all charges, and I do not deserve to be set free. David, shut up. You're talking crazy. Your Honor, listen. Who you... are you? The accused, uh, the, the the defendant's brother. Listen, you can't let him plead guilty. He's stressed. It's it's uh, jailhouse fever. He doesn't know what the hell he's saying. Then his lawyer can request a full psychological evaluation. Now sit down and be quiet. David, listen to me. You can't Young throw man. your life away like this. David, let's your mouthpiece do the work for you. Let him if cut you your deal. If you do not take you your seat, I will time. have you evicted. Leo, it's all right. I know what I'm doing. Why? David, why are you doing this? Because I have nothing left to lose. Mr. O'Neill, your client is out of order. Yeah, I apologize, Your Honor. Dr. Hayward is under duress. He doesn't realize that an arraignment is not the proper form to enter a plea. Right, exactly. So, so forget about anything he said. You can go ahead and strike everything that he said about... Young man, if you... Do, listen to me, young man. If you do not cease and desist, I will hold you in contempt of court. Leo, Leo, Leo come on, come on. You're just making things worse. It's all right, Leo, please. This is what I want. And now, will you get back to the business at hand? Your Honor. David, let me handle no. this. No, I don't want you to finesse this for me. For the first time in my life, I want to tell the truth. With your permission, Your Honor. Proceed if you must. My brother said that I don't know what I'm doing. That's wrong. 
I'm doing what I have to do. I'm admitting to what I did in the name of love. And since I've lost the woman that I love, I have nothing left to lose by confessing my guilt. Mom, what are you doing here? David, poor David, he's just, he just lost his mind. Dixie, I stand before you a broken man. I have nothing left to offer you but the truth. I want you to know everything that I did. And I want you to know why I did it. Ted. You need to get Dixie out of here. Not yet. Your Honor, I'd like to request a recess so I can confer with my client. That's not necessary, Your Honor. Sit down, Mr. O'Neill. Dr. Hayward, as a matter of Intellectual curiosity, you've openly admitted to shrugging a boatload of innocent people, thereby endangering their lives. Did you please tell this court why you did it? You know the answer to that one, Dixie. Why doesn't this lawyer just stop him? I mean, he's throwing away every single chance he has. Mom, you don't need to be here right now. That's true. I, uh... I just can't bear seeing David self-destruct before my very eyes like that. I mean, when we were together, he was always so self-assured. He was so in control. With Dixie, he's just, I don't know, he's turned into someone I don't even recognize. Mom, why don't you come to me, come with me to Wildwind for the wedding? It, it'll take your mind no, off no, of No, 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 I don't, I, I'm not going to the wedding. I, I, look, I don't even have anything to wear. Mom, you look great. Please, Bianca. Staying here is just going to upset you more. No, I'm fine. Really, I'm fine, honey. I just... It's very shocking to see David, how far he's fallen. I mean, he, he had so much potential. I'm going to go back in there. I think it would be good for him to see me, because then he'll be reminded of the kind of man he was when he was with me. And Yeah, I'm going to do that. Mom, it's not your fight. Please, let, let me drop you home. Don't want to go home. Well, then let me drop you wherever. Anywhere but here. Yeah. Okay. The acts I committed were acts of love. Because I wanted you, Dixie. I wanted you beyond reason. You remember I told you that I would do anything to have you with me. And I meant it. But there was one thing standing between us. Your husband. That drug was meant for him. I never intended to hurt those people. But I did. Do I regret it? Do I regret standing here in this courtroom right now? Losing all my privileges at the hospital, poised to lose my very freedom? Not for a minute. Everything that I value, everything that I hold dear, I would lose over and over and over again. Because everything I did was worth every second that you spent loving me. For God's sake, Dad, get Dixie out of here. I didn't come here to confess today. I was going to have my lawyer plead me out, cut a deal. But when I saw you, and I saw the way that you looked at me, with your hurt, your anger, and your contempt, and that was worse than anything 
any punishment that this court could hand out. I've heard enough. Dupre shoots and misses again. Neil, you have got to chill out. If you mouth off to that judge again, he's going to throw you in jail again. What am I supposed to do, Granny? Sit in my hands while David hangs himself? It's not your funeral, Leo. Reconsider my offer. What offer? Fast getaway. You and me a million miles away from here. We'll find some tropical island or a mountaintop, someplace where our families can't hurt us or touch us. Just cut and run? Leave all this behind? Why not? No one will care. I care, Granny. Why? David treats you like a leper. It doesn't matter. He's about to go down. He's about to lose everything, and I'm partly responsible for that. I can't just leave him here to twist while I'm off on some tropical island catching rays somewhere. Okay, scratch the getaway, but come on, let's get out of here. I don't want to see you parading around a, an exercise yard in a day-glow jumpsuit. Well, we could go to Ryan's uh, wedding, but he fired me today. You know, I, I was, I started the day his best man, and now I'm something scraped off the bottom of his shoe. No one wants anything to do with us. Except us. Oh my we still God. have each other. We gotta right? go to the wedding, Greenlee. Leo, you just said that. I've got his rings. I've got the rings. Oh, you guys are so wonderful. <laughs> oh, this is truly the happiest day of my life. Yeah, better than a JP tying the knot in a musty old office? <laughs> Much. Oh, I do so love these old ceremonies, these old rituals. Oh, I'm glad to hear that. <gasps> Father Benedict! <laughs> Ryan, this is Father Benedict. What are you doing here? What do you think, Julian? A priest. <laughs> it's your wedding day. <laughs> You're going to marry us? <laughs> it would be my honor. <laughs> <gasps> oh, this is so great. <clears throat> Father, um... I want you to meet Ryan. It's a pleasure. How do you do? I'll be with you. Thank you. We've planned an orthodox ceremony. So if everyone would please take your seats, there's going to be a wedding. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I'm not sure I know exactly what, what to do, Dimitri. I, I, I'm not calm, calm down, calm them. down. Just take all your cues from your bride. Are we ready to begin? Sure, you ready? Okay. Jillian and uh, Ryan, would you please uh, take your places here? Blessed is our God always, now and ever, unto age of ages. Amen. Amen. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. For the servant of God, Ryan, and for the handmaiden of God, Jillian, who now plight each other their truth, let us pray unto the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. That he will send down upon them perfect and peaceful love, preserve them in oneness of mind, and in steadfast faith, let us pray to the Lord. The wedding started. I bet Gillian looks amazing in her dress. They're beginning a whole new life together. So beautiful. Come away from there. What? I just want to hear the music. I wonder if I have wedding bells here. There are people everywhere. You want someone to see you? Oh, heaven forbid I should be hanging out the window and catch the bouquet. No, they shouldn't have had the wedding here. I told them it was too risky. You worry too much. Weddings are lucky. And it's obvious the couple love each other very much. Nothing bad will happen on a day like today. You must have been a vision in your wedding day. <laughs> 
I suppose I was very happy. I don't remember a single moment of it. O Lord our God, bless this betrothal and unite and maintain thy servants in peace and oneness of mind. Keep them in a bond of love all the days of their lives. Where are the rings? Better late than never. Right? Always pushing the envelope. I'm, I'm not staying, so. No, 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 no. Stay. Really? I'm shy, best man. The servant of God, Ryan, is betrothed to the handmaiden of God, Jillian, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The handmaiden of God, Jillian, is betrothed to the servant of God, Ryan, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. O Lord our God, bless the betrothal of these thy servants, Ryan and Jillian, and confirm the promise that they have made. Establish them in the holy union which is from thee. Make firm their faith and oneness of mind in truth and in love. Amen. Amen. Do you, Ryan, have a good, free, and unconstrained will and a firm intention to take as your wife this woman, Jillian, whom you see here before you? I have, Father. And do you, Jillian, have a good, free, and unconstrained desire and firm intention to take as your husband this man, Ryan, whom you see here before you? I have, Reverend Father. Blessed is the kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, unto age of ages. Amen. Let us pray unto the Lord. Um, Father, I'm, I'm going to have to stop you there. Um, there's something that I haven't told Julian. The special is poached salmon. Are you following me? My pulpit chair will dish and dine a la mem shows. I'd rather starve. Oh, come on, Eric. Would you cut me some slack, huh? How does it feel knowing that your former squeeze was the party punch poisoner? You outed my daughter in public and in the press, and now you expect an, an exclusive? Well, Bianca is yesterday's news. The public is starving for some fresh kill. Something like Erica Kane trembled in the gallery as her ex-lover cop to felony with an excuse he did it all for love except you are no longer the object of his affection you want fresh kill how about hack rider impaled on cutlery erica forgive me for being late our uh, table's ready right over there excuse me i think we were talking fork you mr Steele. shall we <laughs> this way excuse us dr hayward your lack of remorse or contrition leaves me no choice but to deny bail. You will be remanded into police custody pending your preliminary hearing, at which time you may enter a formal plea. Your Honor! Who the hell are you? I'm, I'm David's mother, Your Honor. Please, please reconsider. My son needs help, as you can see, not judgment. I mean, some time at Oak Haven under a psyche. Forget I Forget it, Mother! I apologize for her outburst, Your Honor. She's not really interested in my well-being. She's more concerned with her precious reputation. It's easier to explain a son with a loose screw than one with a rap sheet. You have a very um, 
Interesting family, Doctor. This court is adjourned. Wait, don't take him away just yet. I have something I have to say to you. Why are you just standing here? I know what I'm doing. Would you give us a minute? Everything I said, Dixie, was straight from my heart. It's quite a little performance. Your big confession. <laughs> Is that supposed to reduce me to tears? Is this the scene where the heroine embraces the tragic hero and tells him all is forgiven? If that act didn't work, did you have another one rehearsed and ready? Don't you understand what you've really done? Is this just all the, the game to win me over again? Just answer me, okay? Is there anything about you that is not a lie? My love for you, Dixie. That's real. It's what I live for. It's all the hope I have. You take that away from me, I have nothing. You have to believe me. No, I don't. I don't believe you. Not anymore. Well, thank you, Roger. You saved me from a homicide charge. <laughs> Believe me, it was my pleasure. Uh, oh, well, the snake has slithered back under his <laughs> rock. <laughs> you don't have to pretend anymore that we have a lunch date, Roger. What, you're meeting someone? Uh, no. Well, then stay and have lunch with me. Roger, I'm, I'm not hungry even. I don't really even know why I'm here. Because David Hayward lives here. And you share a history. And the memories are hard to shake. You heard about his arrest? Yes, I did. Must have been a terrible shock for you. Shock really isn't even a big enough word. I was at the courthouse today, and the man I saw standing before the judge was somebody I don't even recognize. I mean, he was a total stranger. Every day I tell myself, I am finally over my wife, and I mean it. And then a woman walks by me wearing Mary's perfume, and I'm a wreck. The ties that bind. Oh, it's just so sad. I mean, David had so much potential, and, and he's just throwing it away. The newspaper accounts said he did it all for love. He did it because of me. I'm, I'm sorry to stop the ceremony. It's just, I wasn't expecting all this. Um, as you know, we were supposed to be married in, in town hall today, and uh, I was planning... Well, there's just there's something I really want to say to you. And this feels like the right time. <sighs> um, princess, this is the anniversary of our first marriage, the one that didn't take... We stood right here, and we pledged our love, not knowing what love was. Today, I know. You opened my eyes, and I am a better man today because of you. On this day, that lifetime ago, my world changed forever. If life is, is about learning, then Love is about second chances, and I am going to take this one as far as I can, and I am not going to look back. We're going to face the future together, and it is going to be one incredible ride. Ryan, you've seen me through the worst times in my life. 
when the world seemed like such a dark and scary place. And you showed me the way. And when I couldn't find the words, when I couldn't speak, I found the, the word for heart in your eyes. And that's what you are, and always will be, my heart. This is a good time for anyone who'd like to step forward and give the bride and the groom their blessing. May you always be as happy as you are today. of the little prince only in the heart can one love rightly what is essential is invisible to the eye this is the second most joyous day of my life the first one was when I married your grandfather and if you're half as happy as we were you will be truly blessed. Oh, holy God. Unite this thy servant Ryan, and this thy handmaiden Jillian, for by thee is the husband joined unto the wife. Unite them in one mind, wed them into one flesh, granting to them the fruit of the body and the procreation of fair children. The servant of God, Ryan, is crowned unto the handmaiden of God, Jillian, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The handmaiden of God, Jillian, is crowned unto the servant of God, Ryan, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. O holy God, crown and crown them with glory and with honor. Amen. Amen. Peace be unto all. And to your spirit. And to your spirit. Bow your heads unto the Lord. To the O Lord. O Lord, bless now this common cup, which is given to those who enter into the community of marriage. Check out the place for security. You gonna be all right for a minute? Yeah, of course. Everything you said about loving me, it was a lie. 
Love had nothing to do with it. I was just a trophy for you, a prize. Competing with Ted was just something that you couldn't resist doing. You couldn't wait for me to tell you that I loved you so you could claim your victory. If you ever said those words, I would die of happiness. I would carve them on my tombstone. Here lies David Hayward, who was well and truly loved. You're a monster. Maybe. But I have a human heart, Dixie. I found it when I found you. And I give it to you. Do with it what you will. Break it. Hate me if that's what you need to do. I understand. Because I understand everything about you, Dixie. You need to hate me right now. You need to take whatever love you feel for me in your heart, build a wall around it, and protect yourself. It'll save you. So go ahead, Dixie. Hate me with my blessing. Hate me with all your heart. So bad. You need to hate me right now. You need to take whatever love you feel for me in your heart, build a wall around it, and protect yourself. That's good. It'll save you. So go ahead, Dixie. Hate me with my blessing. Hate me with all your heart. was very complicated. It was very, very passionate, very exhilarating. David had had a number of affairs before me, but he had never been able to really give himself to anyone. Until there was you. Yes. Why did you break up? Too much alike too different. David was completely devastated. And he rebounded very quickly and then set his sights on a woman that he couldn't have. Oh, well, so that he wouldn't have to risk another broken heart. Exactly. And now, when I see how he's just ruining his life, I mean, I just can't help but wondering if it isn't my fault. What makes you think that? Because if I hadn't rejected David, if I had stayed with him, I think I could have saved him. I think I could have saved him from himself. Who are you? May the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit bless you and grant you length of days, fair children, progress in life and faith, and fill you with all earthly good things. Amen. Amen. Are they married yet? Very. <laughs>